Hi, I'm Nadia. I'm a passionate bread baker. I bake all our bread. I'm originally from Germany, so I grew up with really good bread. So I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful little loaf in the slow cooker. So the first thing is to mix the water, lukewarm water, with the yeast, a teaspoon and a half, and stir so it's almost dissolved. So that's good enough. And then I set it aside and wait for about 10 minutes and it should be foamy, a little frothy after 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add the salt to the flour and dump it all in my container. And then I'll add the water yeast mixture. It's kind of frothy, so it's just right. Make sure I get everything. And then I start stirring. So at the end, it should be kind of tacky, but not really super sticky. So that's the consistency you want. Now it will You'll cover it with the lid, tight-fitting lid, and just let it sit on the counter for an hour. The next thing I want to do is I will make a lining for my slow cooker. I take it out and then I use a pencil or like a food grade pen and draw the perimeter and then I cut it. So that way I have exactly the size of the slow cooker base, nice and round. So I take my slow cooker and I place my lining inside, so it fits perfectly. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the slow cooker on high and then I sprinkle some sesame seeds on top of the paper. The parchment paper. The seeds are not essential but I like them for flavor and also it makes it much easier to release the bread if there are some seeds at the bottom and on the sides. So keep that for later. And then I'll sprinkle my work surface with some little flour and then I'll turn out the dough. It really is a no-knead bread so there's not much kneading involved. The only thing I want to do here is I want to really get out the air pockets. You see how air bubbles are popping up, so I want to get rid of those, not too much flour, because I'm also going to coat it with a little sesame seed all around. You can also use sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds, poppy seed, it really is um, up to you. It doesn't have to be neat because it'll rise in the slow cooker, so all the creases will go away. And then I'll put it in here, and I'll cover it. We'll check back in a little while. So it's been two hours, and I think the bread is ready. Loosen the sides a little bit with a dinner knife. Oh, it's nice, it comes out perfectly. And then I'm just gonna. Oops, here it is, even without the paper. Now this is a little pale because like in an oven you would get more browning. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pop it in the oven under the broiler for just a little bit to brown the top. So let's take it out and have a look. Yeah, that's it. That's good. All right, 